Hey guys, Kirk here, and thank you for joining me on the video. Uh, this video is going to be a short one about how to create a basic landscape layer. This video is going to coincide with a um, series that I'm doing on YouTube now uh, for landscapes. But I thought I'd separate the build of uh, the material layer itself, so it's not making other videos so long. And it might be helpful outside the scope of this series, so I thought I would just uh, demonstrate how to create a basic uh, material layer. Uh, so what I'm going to do is right click, go to materials, material function, and put KM uh, landscape layer. Uh, I'm going to put master as well. Uh, the reason for that is that I could just duplicate this and rename it in the future. Uh, so we're going to open this up and right now we have a material function in which I want to um, create this layer. Uh, so my workflow, um, let's see if we can find this, masks default. Yeah, these are my default textures. So I'm just going to highlight all these. these. This is just like I say, my workflow. Uh, the albedo, normal, and the ROH, which is roughness, uh, ambient occlusion, and height. Um, so as it stands now, I've got these. What I'm going to do is set these uh, two parameters. Uh, so at the bottom, I'm going to put what I do now for my naming convention i'll do layer uh, with a dash and then roh um, and the reason i do layer like so is because when i duplicate it it'll just say layer and i can replace the name layer with the actual layer name like grass dirt soil slope detail whatever whatever name you want it to be you can just replace it dead easily and normal and this one's going to be layer albedo, like so. Um, and that is basically, this is how I would stack it up. If you're just importing from Bridge um, in Unreal Engine 5, then it will work the same way. Uh, what I need now is, there's two you can use. You can use landscape, layer coordinates, um, or you can use texture coordinates. It's completely down to you. Uh, because it's a landscape, I would recommend using landscape layer coordinates. This is more for materials on the own. Um, what we need now is the divide node. Um, a lot of people use multiply uh, to sort their tiling out, but uh, divides better because when you increase this parameter on the tiling, it actually increases and not decreases. Don't ask me why, I don't know. So layer dash UVs. Right, so I'm gonna give that a default of one. Um, I'm gonna set the minimum 0.1234, one, and then set it to five as a maximum. Uh, in here, I'm gonna put layer uh, UVs. This, this is the group in which I want to use. Uh, for my UVs and then we just simply drag that into the divide node and that can go into the UVs there and that can go to the UVs of the normal and the ROH um, what I want to do now is set material attributes uh, what I want is an albedo so base color normal roughness ambient occlusion and then height so base color normal uh, roughness ambient occlusion and then height in here uh, we'll use world position offset because it's more or less the same-ish thing um, and then all we do is just drag into the base color there that goes into the normal and this goes into the roughness um, and ambient occlusion and height what i also like to do is drag off here and create a function output and we'll just call this uh, normal like so uh, we'll give it a priority of one so it's always below there change the result name to material 
Um, get rid of this texture coordinates. And there you go. As it stands, that is a material layer. This would suffice if you're using it. There can be more functionality here, like you can create a brightness. Um, you can create a color tin and all that good stuff. Uh, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it basic like this. One more thing I will say before uh, I finish up. When you export from Bridge, uh, the order of this will be different. Like I've got ROH, this is because I export them onto my hard drive and I stack them in a different order. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, yours will be something like ambient occlusion, roughness and height. So all you would have to do is swap these around like so, like that. Or you could just rename this to the uh, right order. It's completely up to you, um, like so. Uh, and that is it. It's just a quick tutorial to showcase how to create a basic landscape layer. Uh, this is going to be available and ready to use when my landscape uh, material video comes up. Uh, so thank you.